There's a couple of more queries that I would like to run before we're done. One of them is going to have something to do with this field called fix. This is a Boolean field, and I would like to be able to pull information back from a Boolean field. That was the reason why I created it in the first place. And the second one is the color field and the breed field. I see that in the breed field, I have a variety of labs. It looks like I have a lab mix, I have a Labrador, I have a yellow lab, and a black lab. What happens if I want to pull back? If I were to just pull back lab, I would get nothing. What happens if I wanted to pull back anything with the word lab in it? The same thing applies for color. It looks like I have a black and tan dog and I have a black and white dog. I have a black dog and I have a blackish gray and a black and brown dog. What happens if I wanted to pull back all dogs that had black in their color? So I'm going to create a new query, and we're going to see if we can pull back all dogs who, are, who have black in their color. So I'm going to select color. We'll select dog name. We're going to select it from dogs where. If I say color is equal to, surrounded in quotes, black, what do you think is going to happen if I run this query? Well, the expectation is that I'm only going to get two dogs back. And that is because if I sort my original table on A to Z, there are only two dogs that have black as their color. Now, I want you to notice that one is capital B and one is lowercase b. And when I ran my query, I pulled both of them, even though my query was looking specifically for a lowercase b. Once again, SQL is a case is not case sensitive language. But I didn't want to bring back the dogs who are strictly black. I wanted to bring back dogs who had black in their color. And so instead of saying color equal black, I'm going to change the equal sign to the keyword like. Now I'm going to say color like black. If I run this, it's going to give me exactly the same result. But the nice thing is, let me come back to my query and let me come back to my original table. If you'll notice, in this particular query, black is the first word, and then there is stuff that follows it. There are characters that follows. This is the same, black and tan, black and white, black and brown. <clears throat> that means that I have the keyword that I'm looking for, black, and then there is stuff after it. And so what I'm going to do inside of my parentheses is I'm going to use that wild card. Remember that wild card that we used at the beginning? If I put the asterisk after the word black, it is going to do a search for every field that begin or the field, excuse me, every cell in the color field, every cell that begins with the word black, no matter what follows that. So now let me run my query and see what we're getting back now. Now I'm bringing back all of the dogs who have black as the first word, no matter what follows it. So now I'm getting back six dogs. But there's one more thing that I wanted to pull back because I'm pretty sure that there is a dog right here that is brown and black. And it did not pick up the brown and black dog because my query specifically stated in my SQL view that black would be the first word that it would look for. And so if I add a wild card in front of the value that I'm looking for, now it should search the color field for anything that contains the word black, whether or not it is the first word or the last word, if there's stuff before it or stuff after it. Let me run this query. And now we have all seven dogs. And I did manage to pick up that last dog that was brown and black. So I can use the word like with asterisk to pull information or to pull specific values out of field. Let's see if we can do that with the breed. I'm pretty sure that we had a variety of dogs. I'm going to save this query first of all. We'll save it as um, black dogs. How about if we can pull back all of our Labradors? Because I'm pretty sure that we had black labs and yellow labs and then we had Labradors and then we had labs. Let's see if we can pull back all dogs who have lab anywhere in the, their breed. I'm going to go into my SQL view. Once again, I'm going to select breed. Let's select dog name. I'm going to select it from dogs where I'm going to say breed like. I'm going to use the keyword like. I'm going to capitalize it just to set it apart. And in the parentheses, now I'm going to do asterisk lab asterisk. 
and let's order it by, let's just order by breed. Let's just sort it by the breed that we're going to get back. When I run this query, I should be getting back all dogs who have lab anywhere in their breed. It's bringing back the black lab, the lab mix, the Labrador, and the yellow lab. And if I did this right, we should have all dogs that have lab anywhere in their breed. I was thinking for a minute that we have a dog that I had a dog that was just a lab, but I see the dog that is a Labrador. It looks like we brought back all four dogs that are labs. So let me save this query. I'm going to call this labs. And then there is one more query that I would like to do. And that query involves this fixed field. Let's see if we can pull back all dogs who are fixed. Let me create a new query. This time I'm going to fix, I'm going to select fixed first. Are there some other fields that we have never pulled back? Age and weight and gender. Let's pull back gender. We have never done anything with gender. This time I want to full, pull back all dogs who are fixed. But the fixed field is a Boolean variable, which means it control, it contains yes, no, one, zero, true, false, off and on those Boolean values. So now I'm going to say fixed equals, well, I'm going to say fixed equals yes, but I'm not going to surround yes by quotes because yes is not a text value. Yes is a reserved word. Let's see if this will pull back all of the dogs who have been fixed. If I change my query, what if I want to pull back all dogs who have not been fixed? I could say fixed equals no. This would pull back all dogs who have not been fixed. Another way to do that would be to say, I know it'd be a kind of a roundabout way, but I can say fix not equal to yes. Well, because there's only one value that's not equal to yes, that should bring back all dogs who are not fixed. Now let me rephrase that, or let me say it again. I do not surround the yes or the no with quotes because it's not a text value. It is a reserved word because fixed is a Boolean variable, then the values that it contains are yes or no. So let's see if we can bring back a compound condition of fixed dogs who are male. Fixed and gender. So I'm going to say fixed, and this is fixed dog, so I'm going to change the not equal to yes. We'll change this to equal to yes. Yes, and then we'll say gender is equal to, I'm going to have to surround this one by quotes because that is a text value. And let's see if we can bring back all male dogs who have not been fixed and it, or who have been fixed. I see that I have three of them. So I'm going to save this query. We'll call it fixed males. And I have a variety of queries that are available to me. So once again, if I go back to my original statement about SQL statements, we learned about four keywords. The first one is a select statement. This is what fields do you want to see in your, in your return query. We learned about the from statement. This is what field, where do I want them to come from. This would be the name of the table that I want them to come from. If you already imagined that I can pull fields from more than one table, I absolutely can. Because in the third normal form, there are most likely are multiple tables in my database. The WHERE clause allows me to add conditions, compound condition or single conditions on the data that I want to return, and then the ORDER BY clause allows me to sort the data based upon any particular field.